let's go with other uh, DNA viruses. Uh, I mean, you already know that uh, when we talk about DNA virus, it was happy, happy. H-H-A-P-P-P, -P -P, right? So uh, we have covered herpes. I mean, we had a lot of herpes because it was herpes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We completed all those things. Now there are other uh, HHV types we have left. With that, adeno, parvo, pox, papilloma also will cover here. Okay, so we are going to talk about uh, these viruses. Now, there is hepatitis B virus also will be covered in uh, coming other classes, separate classes. But yeah, the rest of the DNA virus we are going to talk now. Okay, you know that A for H for uh, this is herpes we are going to talk and then adeno and then this is parvo, pox, papillom, happy viruses. Okay, happy DNA viruses. Okay. Now, what is this picture? This picture can be confused with many rashes because uh, these days, uh, you know, ch the, the babies get different type of viral infection, different type of viral infection manifests rashes like this, maculopapular rashes. Okay. So, but here the clue is, uh, this is caused by one of the herpes virus only. Which is that one? This is called the condition of this. It's called rosiola, rosiola infantum. Okay. Rosiola infantum. Infantum, rose, S is here. So S is a clue for you. That is HHV 6 and 7. HHV 6 and 7. Okay. So uh, HHV 6 and 7 causes this disparosis infantum. Sometimes it's also called exanthema subitum. Exanthema subitum. S-U-B-I-T-U-M. Subitum. Here also, if you see, there is a S2 guide you. Yes, yes, yes. S is 6. Yes is 7. Very easy. So why I'm, I'm stressing here? Because uh, the parvoviruses also cause something called, uh, if you remember, slack cheek appearance. Uh, that is infectiosum. Okay. That is a infectiosum. Ethema infectiosum. That is totally different term. So you don't have to confuse with these two. That's what I'm giving clue. This one. Okay. So Rosula infantum, HSV 6 and 7. This is that one. Okay. So HSV 6 and 7, Rosula infantum, otherwise called exanthema superatum. Uh, the rash usually appears on the sixth day. That's also another uh, good thing that six, the, the, it's called sixth disease because the, the rash appears on the sixth day. Okay. Sixth day, Rosula infantum, yes. And exanthema subitum, yes. So they are, yes, yes, yes. All Yes, yes, yes. So it's a clue for you. Easy and many times repeated question. Rosiola infantum is examiner's favorite question. So they're not going to make any mistake in this uh, question. Okay. Now, HHV-8. HHV-8, already we know. What is that? Which was the cancer which is common in the uh, HIV patient? Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma. Okay. And also HHV-8 could one more disease called Castleman disease also. But right now, you have to remember Kaposi sarcoma. Okay. Kaposi sarcoma, you know, that is a vascular tumor. Uh, it causes a lot of, uh, if you see the, 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 there will be pictures in HIV class. I'm going to bring that a picture and show you. Right now, just remember HHV-8 causes the Kaposi sarcoma in HIV patient. Okay. Frequently asked question. Let's go to adenovirus. You know, I love adenovirus. First of all, uh, the clue is like this. Okay, uh, so we have finished with the herpes now. Now the next DNA virus is adenovirus. Adenovirus, only one thing I want you guys to remember, remember Adnan Swami. Adnan Swami, you know, he's, the, he's a popular singer, very good singer. So this singer, he is very rich fellow. So what he has, because he's rich, he's having a space vehicle. He's having a space vehicle. And so what he does... Uh, whenever there's a children, he usually helps a lot of children. Children, you know, what they have, children with, uh, you know, they have uh, the respiratory infection, children have diarrhea, children, they have, uh, you know, swimming pool, conjunctivitis, swimming pool, conjunctivitis, all this type of variety of diseases. When they have these type of diseases, you know, Adnan, what he do, he goes to space and then what he does, he finds the vaccines for them. He finds vaccines for them. So you already got the clue what I'm talking here. Okay. You got the clue. Now let's go to the points. I told him uh, why I said he was uh, rich or whatever the idea is space vehicle. Why? The shape. The shape of the adenoviruses is like a space vehicle. I already showed you previously. So some picture you identified space vehicle. Number two, these are the symptoms of adenoviruses. Adenoviruses means a den full of children. They have crying, 
conjunctivitis. They are having sneezing, respiratory, and they have diarrhea. So uh, all type of pictures in one, in a child has all this type of picture in one, that is adenovirus. So who comes to this picture? Your Adnan Swami is coming. And what he does do? He is going to find vaccine for them. I mean, this is a picture just to give you a clue. Why I say vaccine? Because adenovirus is used as vector for vaccine manufacturing. A lot of vaccine adenovirus is used as the vector. That was a question. Everything is a question. Everything here is a question. Okay, let's go now. Space vehicle. Already we talked about it. Okay. Uh, space vehicle. Question. And I told swimming pool conjunctivitis because the, the, these kids, they have pharyngeal conjunctival fever. So, which type? 4, 7, and 14 are common. This was asked in one or two exams. So, just try to remember. 4, 7, 14. 4, 7 plus 7, 14. Okay? 14. Easy. Uh, and then, of course, all type of disease. Example, they have character conjunctivitis. They have cystitis, hemorrhagic cystitis, and infantile diarrhea also. But not, but diarrhea, you know, I always told you the most common cause of diarrhea in children is your rotavirus, rotavirus. But here, your adeno also can cause. The idea is that if they give a clinical picture of everything, your conjunctivitis, diarrhea, uh, pharyngeal fever, everything comes together and that is adenovirus. Okay, that's what I want you to remember. So acute pharyngitis, everything. And then adenovirus is used as a vector, vector for the uh, lot of vaccine preparation. This was a question, frequently asked, right? Okay, adeno is done. Now let's go to the next virus, human papilloma virus. Ah, okay, next DNA virus. Okay, Adeno is done. Adeno this much only. Adeno is Adnan Goswami. He is rich. Adnan Swami. Sorry, not Goswami. The singer, he is rich. So he's having a space vehicle. He helps a lot of children who is having what? All different type of clinical features. And then he's also a vector for, he's, he's helping a lot of people to make vaccines. So that means he's a vector for a lot of vaccines. Yes, Adeno virus. Okay, got it. Now next, human papilloma virus. The next DNA virus. Papilloma. What, what do you think? When you say papilloma, what are the two diseases that comes in your mind? When you, when I talk about papilloma, two things you just have to strike your brain. What are they? One is the watch. Different type of watch. And then other one is the cervical carcinoma. Cervical carcinoma. These are the two things to just have to strike your uh, uh, brain. Yeah. And not really watch. In watch, uh, in watch again, one of the type is what? Condyloma acuminata. We're going to talk about that. Condyloma acuminata. Aku, me, na, ta. And also, one more thing when you talk about HPV, what is that? It is a laryngeal papilloma. Laryngeal papilloma. These are direct questions they can ask you. HPV virus, what are the diseases HPV virus is causing? Three things. They cause warts, they cause cancer, and they cause papillomas. Now, we have a lot of variants. That's important. So, let's talk about what are the different type of variants we have. So see, this is a watch. This is a plantar watch. It's caused by HPV. This is called a plantar. It's on your foot, yeah? Plantar watch. And this is on your finger. This is also called as uh, verruque, okay? They're called, uh, uh, a lot of names are there. Again, this is also one of the watch, okay? This is caused by HPV. This one, what you're seeing on the fingers, okay? And then, this one is in the genital region. So in the genital region, you know what is the name? In the genital region, when you have something like this, see how it looks? It looks like a cauliflower appearance, right? Cauliflower appearance. So when you have a cauliflower type appearance, what? That is what? Condyloma acuminata. Condyloma acuminata. Okay, that is what? HPV. It's also caused by HPV virus. The various we're going to talk in a while. Uh, this is one thing. And remember, if you remember condyloma acuminata, then there is something called condyloma lata also. Condyloma lata. This is acuminata. What about condyloma lata? Condyloma lata. Do you remember which disease caused this? This is caused by, this is seen in syphilis. Syphilis. And which syphilis? Secondary syphilis. Secondary syphilis. That means there, uh, it is a little bit plain. It's not exactly like cauliflower. It's a little bit plain. There is no proper that, uh, yeah, the root is not there. Okay. It, it doesn't have the stem. It's plain. Okay. This is seen in secondary syphilis. Cause bit of pallidum. Okay. That's different. So don't confuse condyloma lata and acuminata. Acuminata is HPV. Human papilloma virus. And then uh, you see this cauliflower shape uh, appearance. This is catastrophic for the Your question definitely. This question is repeated, repeated. You can expect this. And this one, you see, it looks like a branch, you know, tree branch. So this also caused by HPV. We're going to talk about that also. Okay. So this also caused by HPV. So anything like this hard uh, watch, uh, this uh, condyloma acuminata, everything comes, you think about HPV. So different types. So we have type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. Okay. And then cancer variants. Remember here, 
Number one, when you talk about the uh, type one, it was the planter watch. One and two is for planter watch. Okay, planter watch. Nothing much. The common watch. You can say this. It's those common. Uh, not exactly common watch. You can say because common watch is caused by number four is causing the common watch. How to remember four? V, no? V. So V, two Vs are there. Very co vulgar is V into V. Very co vulgar is, is equal to four. Okay. V into V is four. Something like that. Just remember. Number four cost a common watch. That is the very co vulgaris. Okay. And then uh, three is planner watch. Just a plain watch. And the one and two are planter watch. Okay. The important one are these things. Number five and eight. Five ends in E. Eight starts with E. E, E for epidermo, dysplasia, verififormis. It's a derma question also. Ideally, what happens is a genetic condition. Uh, they, we, oh, these people have more predisposition predisposition for HPV infection. One of them is this epidermal dysplasia verififormis. And the picture I showed you about tree man syndrome. That's the picture. With the picture which I showed you about, this is the tree man syndrome. So this is a tree man syndrome. If you see uh, his hands and all, it looks like a tree. So that's called tree man syndrome. So tree man syndrome, don't confuse. It is simply the HPV virus, ka, which one especially type 5 and 8 EE. That is epidermal dysplasia verififormis. Okay, right. 7. 7 is also asked in few exams, uh, which which type, which HPV causes the butcher's what? It's very simple. See, every butcher's, that means whoever uh, the meat market, the meat shops, the meat shops, the butcher, uske pas kya hota? he will have this axe no he will have this uh axe like this right uh, to cut it or like this axe right the axe is like this so he cut the beautiful meat pieces right so this one see the axe axe just looks like seven so seven is butcher butcher so you don't don't make mistake in this okay this are like not allowed to make this will be easy question you can't make mistake butcher ke pass hota, axe hota. so axe is like seven so it's butcher okay vv common vv is equal to four so four is cutting four five e Eight also starts with E. E, e epidermal dysplasia. Uh, epidermal dysplasia, very good for me. That is causing the tree man syndrome, right? Now, more another, the most frequently asked question is 6 and 11. 6 and 11, you will not forget this. This you have to remember by any means. What are they? HPV 6 and uh, 11, they causes the anogenital what? Condyloma cumulata I showed you and also cause one more what? Laryngeal papilloma. Don't forget. Very common. These two are very, very common. HPV uh, 6 and 11. Frequently asked question, very frequently asked question. 6 and 11 causes, I can't give any clue here. You have to remember, this is something you do. The only thing clue I can give is that for condyloma, it's C, no, C. So C is like 6, 6, okay. But of course, 6 and your 11 also should be added. So laryngeal warts or laryngeal papilloma, laryngeal warts or laryngeal papilloma, and anogenital or condyloma accumulator is caused by 6 and 11, okay. That you have to remember, no other way. You have to remember it, okay. Next, uh, cervical uh, six and uh, sixteen and eighteen. You must know by this time. Everyone knows. Even the common people also knows that uh, because cervical cancer awareness is very high now. So anybody you ask, they will tell you uh, which uh, which variant of HPV causes cancer. Sixteen and eighteen. Sixteen and eighteen. Common one. Yeah. Also frequently asked question. Okay. Sixteen and eighteen, which are causing the cervical cancer. Got it. Now. Uh, what is the main uh, factor? Pathology question they can ask. Not the pathology, because it's uh, the micro everywhere. Uh, even gynae question also. Which is that protein that is uh, HPV protein that causes the cancer? Two things. E6 and E7. E6 and E7. E6 and E7. Please remember E6 and E7 are the main factor for causing this cancer. E6 and E7 are the dangerous people. They are the main cause. They are the main cause for the cancer. Okay, they inhibit this P53 and RB, retinoblastoma and P53 protein. So that's what cancer risk is very high. E6 and E7 for HPV. Okay, right. Now next, uh, vaccines. Uh, vaccines, of course, you know, there are uh, only two usually. They are, uh, which one? You remember this, bivalent and the quadrivalent. Bivalent is cervarix and quadrivalent is your Gardasil. Okay, so that's also a question. Yes, they can ask for HPV vaccines, HPV vaccines. We have uh, H uh, HPV vaccines. Ah, so these are the things. One is cervarix, which is bivalent, 16, only for 16, 18. And Gardasil came after that quadrivalent. It covers 6, 11, 16, all the important things it's covering. But now also we have Gardasil 9. Gardasil 9 means with this 6, 11, 16, 18, the four types extra added. 31, 33, 45, 52, 58. Okay. 
31, 33, 45, 52, 58. That's it. Okay. So this somehow you have to remember. It can be gyne question also, but also from microbiology point of view also, this is important question. So this will be known because only a uh, few cancers can be uh, through vaccination. We can cure. Another one is which vaccine, which one? Can you remember which of the other uh, diseases can be prevented by vaccination? You're right. If you're saying hepatitis B virus, you're right. Hepatitis B viruses, you know, it causes which cancer? Liver cancer, liver carcinoma. And of course, what we have for hepatitis B virus, we have vaccine. We have HBS AG vaccine is available. So vaccine cures this. So that is one thing. Okay, don't forget. Very, very important. Yeah, this uh, helps in the uh, thing. Okay, uh, the vaccine that prevents two viral infections. One is this one, another one is your HPV. H HPV and HPV has a vaccine that prevents this disease occurrence. Okay, right. Now, next. Uh, the recommended age, of course, before sexual activity, that is usually 10 to 25 young females. Usually they get this uh, vaccination uh, before starting the, excuse me, sexual activity, right? That's it. So we are almost there. HPV is over. Now we're going to other virus. Next, DNA virus. So, so adeno is done. And then uh, your HPV is done. Happy uh papilloma pap in p we have three p's papilloma is over now the next p so before going to next p this direct question frequently highly expected question what do you think about this this rash in the children a child got this rash you can see uh this uh elevated rash uh sort of vesicular rash with this umbilicated lesion the lesion has an umbilicated cheesy metaprency umbilicated umbilicated Cheesy material. Cheesy material. What is this? Can you make a guess? It's called molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum contagiosum. Right? Okay. Which is that virus that's causing this? Your pox virus. Pox. Simply pox. Pox virus. Okay. And you know already, pox is the biggest virus, the biggest virus, the biggest virus, the biggest virus, but it's a pox virus. So everything is a question. Molluscum contagion is a question. Umbilicated cheese symmetry is a question. And I told you, I gave you a clue. Who has, uh, who gets molluscum contagion? Who, who, who? Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter. Why Peter? Because this body is important. Henderson, Peterson body. Henderson. Peterson, Peter, Peter, Peterson, Henderson, Peterson body. That is also called HP bodies. Okay, HP bodies. Henderson, Peterson bodies. Okay. And I, there's one more HP, but it's not exactly HP. That is Halbasta Pravasaki. If you remember, there's another body called Halbasta Pravasaki. Halbasta Pravasaki. Pravasaki bodies. That is also it's HP, but it is not with the pox. Where do you see that Halbuster Pravasati? You will see it in the chlamydia. Chlamydia. It comes in the chlamydia. Chlamydia trachomatosis. You will see this body. Okay. So don't confuse. Halbuster Pravasati. That's what I want to bring the term Peter. Peter. Paul means Paul Bolson. EBV. Peter means molluscum contagiosum. Peter got molluscum contagiosum, which is caused by pox, where is the biggest virus. Pox means box. And you know that. What is the shape of the pox? It is a brick. Big brick. Big brick. Big brick shape. Pox virus. Everything is a question. One question you can easily expect from this part. Pox virus is very interesting. Easy. No mistakes. Molluscum contagious. Okay. That's it. So, almost we have done. Peter got pox. What like lesion? Henderson Peterson body. Everything. Everything. I've already discussed now. So, I'm going to move to the next one. Okay. Yes. Now. Another interesting, I love parvovirus. Parvovirus is like one of my favorite. Why? Why? It's easy to remember. You will you will not expect to make this. Why? What do you have to remember? When you talk about parvo, please remember this one girl called Pari. That's enough. Pari. The smallest girl. Okay. Choti ladki. Smallest girl. First one. And number two. I already told you. She's very pretty. And what she sees as a single ponytail. Single ponytail. Uske paas hai single ponytail. Okay. I think you're already guessing. I think already you are imagining what I'm going to say. Okay, single ponytail. And other thing, another what is another uh, another interesting thing? Single ponytail is the smallest girl. Single ponytail. She slaps the kids. She always slaps the bachche ko mar deta hai cheeks mein. She slaps. She slaps the child's cheeks ko mar deta hai. Okay, cheeks. She slaps on the child's cheek. And one more thing. Unfortunately, because she is very bad, usko bachche ko kya hota hai? His children's they get. Aplastic anemia. They get aplastic anemia. Usko bache ko 
aplastic anemia hota hai or what else the children get they get hydrops vitalis hydrops vitalis poor because of course karma no karma if she slaps a kid of course god punishes her with all these two things who pari ko okay it's funny it's just my way of making story to remember micro very easily that you will never ever forget so parvo means pari you know pari is a good girl but not really good girl she slaps the children so god unfortunately punished her okay what is the what's the concept here why i'm talking this much thing should i have to say yes smallest virus yes because which is the most uh uh the smallest virus this is the smallest virus smallest virus we talked about it and why is a single ponytail this is the only single standard dna virus rest all of them are double standard only pari single ponytail single standard dna virus and slaps why you guys put a slaps the children why pari slaps the children because the child has slapped cheek appearance there is no exam the slap cheek appearance haven't appeared every maximum exam slapped cheek uh i think my spelling for cheek is right whatever it is the slap cheek appearance okay slap cheek appearance it's commonly asked question infectious small so we call this infectious small so uh that's actually the fifth day disease also okay we'll talk about it fifth day disease and what happened in children come other question answers aplastic anemia is caused by which disease and hydrops vitalis is caused which is parvo 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 so you'll never forget okay i given the short i have mentioned it here also once again okay now let's go there so already told you what are the questions here smallest virus number one question single standard dna viruses two and spot this what is this this is frequently asked it's a pediatric question also well, this is the slapped cheek exactly this is a slap cheek parvo slapped cheek slapped cheek right ah so this one this is the hydrops fetalis also pediatric question hydrops uh hydrops fetalis hydrops fetalis there are two types it can be immune or it can be non immune immune and non immune so when you talk about non immune your parvo will come here non immune hydroviruses because there's no immune it is directly virus is causing when you talk about immune of course you know that is rh incompatibility rh incompatibility disorder that is immune hydrophytalis when the word non immune hydrophytalis comes it's parvo virus okay so but this is a hydrophytal you see everything is swollen and the baby has everything swollen okay right um so that's the disease what fifth disease or erythema infectiosum okay fifth disease or erythema infectiosum and it's caused by what parvo p a r v o count it 1 2 3 4 5 so you have five that's what it's fifth disease erythema infectiosum or the rash is simply slap cheek appearance never ever make mistake in this question repeated question and then you have aplastic crisis and also non immune hydrops fetalis okay yeah now immune hydrops fetalis is caused by rh mellifluous thalassemia we already talked about it i'm not going to stress on that okay now there are some other viruses also in dna uh, which is like not that important a uh, few questions can be asked they are papova viridae papova viridae is jc virus bk virus uh, and then other one is your sure, uh, uh, asv40 virus so when you talk about this uh, jc virus you know what happen when you go to how to remember this jc virus whenever uh, you must have heard in us in usa there is this store called jc penis right jc penny if you go inside for shopping you know you become crazy you become crazy crazy means your brain get some problem what problem it gets you will get pmle that is you will get progressive multilocal encephalopathy you will get pmle oh remember like that when you go to shopping jc penny shopping it's you it is it's, it's it's very uh, cool shop i mean you got lot of things there so you get crazy buying especially girls you know they get crazy so the girls get crazy and what they get they get pmle progressive mult uh, progressive uh, multifocal leukoencephalopathy hey, listen something like this there in measles also if you remember i want to bring measles that question also frequently asked in measles one of the complication less very less common but it is common as in question what is that ssp that is different that is actually uh, sclerosing uh, polyleukoencephalopathy that's also type of uh, 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 it's a type of cns disorder only but that is ssp okay this is pmle progressive multi focal leukoencephalopathy please remember that this question can be asked just jc virus direct question 
polyoma virus is also something important. Polyoma, this one thing I want to know, polio, BK virus is otherwise called polyoma, polyoma or BK, BK. Clue is there already. K means kidney. So any kidney disease, any nephropathy, BK virus is common. Kidney transplant is common. And even in any kidney nephropathy also, BK virus infection is common. What's the characteristic here? There's one cell called decoy cell. That can be a question. Which is uh, decoy. The name is a cell. decoy. Okay, K. Decoy. K, K, K. Anything with K. Okay, decoy cells. So this is the decoy cells. And see in this picture, I don't know how uh, important the picture uh, they'll ask. The only thing is that this ground glass appearance, this ground glass inclusion, this ground glass inclusion, this is called as the decoy cells. Decoy is in BK. Decoy, D, C, C, you make it as a K. Decoy. Decoy is in BK. Decoy, BK. Decoy, BK. Okay. So, I already told you this is related to the kidney, nephropathy, and transplant. And the last one. Uh, and then the decoy cells are basically the ground glass inclusion bodies. Now, SV. Let's go to the SV. Simeon. Vacuolating virus. It means this virus, SV40 virus, it usually causes the vacuoles inside the person. That's it. Nothing uh, very uh, specific for this. The name itself says vacuolating. So vacuolating. So, but what is the problem you'll have in exam? They will give you uh, which of the following viruses forms vacuoles. And an option you will see only SV40. So the name, full name will not be given. So you might think, what is this? So don't forget, V for vacuole, same thing. V for vacuole, cytopathic effect. Okay, that's it. So uh, we are almost coming to the uh, end of the DNA viruses now. Uh, the next classes, we'll talk about RNA viruses. Thank you so much.